energy equals mass times the speed of light squared is the most famous equation in physics. But could this equation give us an objective understanding of the universe? All we have to do is place the Lorentz contraction of space and time between the energy and mass. Therefore, the greater the energy, the greater the contraction of space, and the slower time will run. Mass will increase relative to this, and each reference frame can be seen as a vortex in space and time. The C2 in the equation represents light radiating out in all directions at a constant speed, forming a sphere of electromagnetic radiation from its radius, forming a square of probability. This is the same probability we have with any future event, because the process forms the flow of time itself, photon by photon. The brackets represent the boundary condition of the reference frame formed by the energy, and the infinity symbol represents an infinite number of reference frames that make up our universe. In this way, we link the time dilation of Einstein's theories on relativity with a deeper understanding of quantum mechanics to give us an objective understanding of our universe that fits in with the reality of our everyday life. The theory explained in the rest of this video is based on just two simple postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function or probability function of quantum mechanics represents the forward passage of time itself photon by photon and the second is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is formed by the probability function is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame. This process of continuous creation or change we see and feel as the flow of time itself and we can interact with it turning the possible into the actual. This might sound mad but the probability function that forms the uncertainty principle also forms the movement of electric charge, forming the flow of electric current with electrical potential. In this theory, electrical potential and the individual's future potential are the same within their own reference frame. The most advanced part of this universal process is in the form of electrical activity in the brain being able to comprehend and measure this process as the flow of time with a past and uncertain future. This process is totally universal and interactive, from the largest object to the smallest creature, right down to the smallest element of the periodic table, will slow the rate that time flows, forming a curvature of space-time, relative to its own energy or mass. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. This forms a great dance of energy exchange, forming a process of spontaneous and continuous change that we see and feel as the aging process and as the flow of time itself. In this theory, gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows. The second law of thermodynamics falls out of this theory, the organization for the spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the flow of time with photon energy cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for the flow of entropy. We have an infinite number of reference frames within our universe and because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent each object or observer will have their own reference frame with their own future uncertainty as time unfolds photon by photon. Therefore an observer can look back in time at the beauty of the stars in all directions from the center of their own reference frame. This is because they are forming their own space-time by collapsing the waves of light into new photon oscillations, forming their own future potential. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art, because the atoms of the hand and eye 
have bonded together, forming the movement of electric charge, creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and rate. It will help in the promotion of this theory.